What's going on, Fat Boy Fifth and Eighth? Fat Boy Alpha here, and we got another kind of different type of video. Um, real quick, before we jump into it, make sure you guys go cop the merch at toughwraps.com. www.toughwraps.com. If you're overseas, www.toughwraps.co.uk, um, and use code AA Tough Twenty, all caps, at checkout for some money off of any type of workout gear, shirts, shorts, socks, uh, wrist wraps, yada, yada, yada. So as you guys know, I put a PS4 in a computer case. Uh, there were pictures on my Instagram. And then when I was sitting in class, I realized that's kind of boring. So I was taking the trash out the following day um, and I came across these two big wooden boxes um, that someone made up and they were used for cornhole. You don't know what cornhole is, it's the game where you throw a bean bag about 10 feet into a hole on a piece of wood. Um, so, so I guess someone got bored of the game and threw them away. And I just so happened to see them, and this is also at the same time that I decided I wanted to make a wall-mounted computer desk, but I don't want to take apart my current computer. So instead I decided, well, I already have my PS4 apart. It's kind of in a computer case. I have an Xbox One S laying around. Why not throw those into a big piece of wood? And now I got two consoles in one thing. So I took the wood, I took the PlayStation, I took the Xbox, and I threw them into a the piece of wood. That might sound stupid, that might sound impossible, but last week I saw a video where a company, Origin I'm pretty sure, put a PS4, an Xbox, and a Nintendo Switch inside of one big computer case. I've seen these computer desks before. I've seen people put consoles inside desks. I've seen, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff out there on YouTube. Um, so I decided, why not? Why can't, why Why shouldn't I be able to do that, right? I have in front of me kind of a, I guess a rough draft. I'm gonna take you guys on, I don't wanna make it too many parts, but however many parts I need to, I guess I probably have already eliminated like probably four parts just by already having the PlayStation, the Xbox, and the wood all torn apart. Um, so here's kind of a rough draft of the project at hand. All right, so peep it. This is the wood that I found laying at the trash can. There's the computer case that the PlayStation was inside of, and I decided, you know, that's a no-go. I don't really want to do it anymore. So, <clears throat> I took apart, this is my PlayStation, and this is the Xbox we had just kind of sitting around the house, um, and it really fits perfect. Um, so, game plan. This is about where it's going to sit. I'm not gonna move this um, really anymore. I do want, or I am going to mount, this is the hard drive to the back wall, so it's level and looks nice. Um, this is the disc drive, <clears throat> and all I have to do is basically find extensions for these two cables to route to the motherboard, and that's it for the Xbox. The Xbox is super simple to uh, get going, there's no blu-ray there's no extra cables there's no really anything it was super simple to set this up all i have to do is drill out where the disc drive will sit and then this will come inside through the wood and sit right in the front and look flush so it'll just be a little slit in the wood so a disc goes in and out super easy uh the back this is the power supply so again, what I'm gonna do is cut a hole in the back that looks nice and flush. So when this sits inside, sit inside the wood, super simple, it'll look nice and clean and flush. And then same with the back of the motherboard. Um, down there are the ethernet, the USB, the HDMI, all the, you know, the other important parts. Again, another hole will be cut kind of to fashion where each cord will plug into and this will basically become the back of the Xbox. Now, what's gonna fill in all this middle, you know, middle space, um, 
I guess second thing, the whole box is going to going to be painted in accordance with um, each console. So this half will be white, black, and green. And then this half will be blue, black, gray, and white, kind of to match the PlayStation theme. And this will match the Xbox theme. Um, but what's gonna fill in this middle section is I have to try and find a water cooling unit um, to replace the fan. The fan is cooling the CPU. Um, so in order to do that, this comes off and then there will be, then obviously this, that's not there anymore. And there will be two um, water tubes right here that will run to a radiator that's going to fashion against this side or it'll sit roughly right here with two fans on top of that, two or three fans, whatever inside. And then there will be another, I guess, uh, what would make sense to you guys? It would be another small type of fan that'll sit on top of the CPU and tubes will run from one of the water pumps to the radiator, from the radiator, to the fan, from the fan, back to the pump, from the pump, in a circle, creating a water cooling effect. Uh, so the pumps push, the fan, or the radiator pushes, this will pull basically the water, so it creates a, the circle of life of water cooling. Um, so that's gonna look dope. It'll have um, green, it'll be a green accented uh, water. And that's really it for the Xbox. So that'll take care of all this emptiness here. I'll probably do, I have extra controllers, so I'll probably do like a controller memorabilia here or something will fill up this empty space um, if the radiator doesn't take up enough. Now, moving on to the Xbox side. This is where, or sorry, then moving on to the PlayStation side. This is where things get a little bit difficult. Um, I wanna try and make this look like as much as a PC as possible, but also keeping the console effect. So that's why I have taken big components off of the PlayStation motherboard. This is the top piece to the motherboard and this is ugly AF. So I'm ditching this. This thing I'm holding onto is the heat sink, which basically is to cool that paste covered CPU there. Uh, but that's ugly and I don't want that on here anymore and it would just be a big metal piece covering the motherboard so you wouldn't get to see anything. Also there's lights that are already on here and I want those to obviously shine. Um, so I pulled those off. This is a SATA cable extension. Um, this is the hard drive. So where this is going to mount is around the back and mount to the back wall. <clears throat> or the back border, whatever you want to call it. So if you ever built a PC, you know that um, there's some cables that go from the GPU around the back of the, of the motherboard. Um, and that's just like a, a simple PC accent, basically. More issues are, this is the Blu-ray uh, motherboard or the Blu-ray chip that the Xbox does not have. So. I guess our problem with this is I have to find some wire to extend off of this and this plugs there. That's where it plugs in. That's probably gonna be super aggravating um, as well as the disc drive itself. Um, up underneath, there are these blue tabs, as you can see. I need longer ribbon cables, which are probably not gonna be easy to find, but they're out there somewhere. And those have to run from here and plug into these spots on the Blu-ray chip. Also aggravating, but you know, we'll find a way. I have until about October for this to be complete, the beginning of October, because that's when the new COD drops. And that's what I need. I need this to be built for COD because I'll be playing COD on Xbox, I'll be playing COD on PlayStation, and I need it. I need my system for it. There will be another water cooling uh, system. So there will be either a pump here or two little pumps um, right here. And the same type of ordeal. It'll go from the pump to the radiator with a fan sitting on top of that. 
from the radiator to the chip and then from the chip back to the pump. Um, so again, creating that circle of warbling effect and this water will have a blue accent to kind of match the whole PlayStation theme. Um, and then the front as well, I have to, since this is the disc drive, a slit needs to be cut in the wood so a disc can slide in and out, uh, making it super easy. And then along the back, as you can see down here, this is the a Ethernet, HDMI, a optical, and I believe another HDMI port. But again, slits have to be, not slits, but holes need to be cut in the back so that each one of those can sit flush um, inside the wood. And the cable will run obviously through, powering everything. Um, and that's really about it for, I guess, all of that. So I'm actually pretty excited to be doing this. I've been, or I've watched a lot of YouTube videos for quite a while. Um, and I actually might, depending on space, I have this Alienware Alpha that I have this kind of sitting around that I need to sort of start to put to use. Um, Alienware Alpha has been discontinued, so it's pretty cool that I still have one of those and it works, you know, fantastic. It's a Steam machine is what it was intended for. Steam is the PC gaming uh, number one platform or number one, I guess, program. And I might, depending on space, throw that in here somewhere. If I can, I'm gonna have to shift some stuff down. For the most part, that's it for this. Um, the box, again, like I said, will be painted in accordance with each system. And then covering the top, I haven't really decided if I'm going to do a tempered glass or just plexiglass. I think it, everything, the lights shine through better on a tempered glass, which would be cool um, to see. <clears throat> oh, I should probably mention something about this big ass hole right here. This hole, there's going to be a 140 millimeter fan that is powered off of something in here. Um, and what that fan is gonna do is suck all of the hot air inside of here down and out. So I know it sounds kind of weird if you don't know how this whole concept works, but each one of these things, so that, 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 and that, they each produce um, heat. So what this fan does is it cools the CPU, but even cooling the CPU is gonna have recycled hot air inside of here. That's why these have vents on the back because these also produce heat. Um, and then this power supply here, you can actually see the coil is there. They produce a lot of heat. <clears throat> so hot air inside of here doesn't need to just circulate. Depending on how wide the radiators are, I actually might mount them to the side and just drill two big fan holes um, on the side of there and there. And then you know, obviously blow the air out that way. It's just more ways to keep this stuff um, as cool as possible. The cooler you keep your, or what I've learned from you know past experience, the cooler you keep your systems, like just the better they run. That's about it for this. This will be, this is part one. So I eliminated probably another four or five parts just because I have everything already um, taken apart and placed kind of where I want it. Um, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe these videos if you want to see further more. Um, I'm really excited to get this going. This is going to be a pretty solid project. This is something I've been talking about doing for a very long time. Not even talking. I've just been telling myself, like, I want to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Um, and now I have, you know, the free time. I have the money. And I <coughs> honestly have the, like, drive to do it. Um, probably the most annoying part is just going to be finding the cables um, and figuring out how to route the wires. But needless to say, I have a pretty good idea with how I want this to turn out. And I'm, again, just excited to be finally doing it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna try and make this, see I have the blueprint done. And then next I'll probably do the mounting of each thing and then probably a test video and then a final video. So that's four parts, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, but it might turn into five. We'll see depending on when I can find the right stuff or like the cables and the motherboard mounts and everything. But again, I'm just excited to get this going. I know I keep saying that, but this, I'm geeking inside. I'm geeking, geeking, geeking. I know I'm all about the gym and everything else, but when it comes to like nerdy stuff, 
your boy's a geek. But I love you guys. I'll see y'all in part two. Stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned with your boy, because uh, I'm going to make this work. Like, share, subscribe to these videos. Make sure you stick around. Subscribe for more content. This right here, if you want to keep seeing this further, um, subscribe. Tell your people. I love y'all. Fat Boy Alfie, Alpha Boy Fit. We out.